Okay, so this is going to be the top 10 business degrees and this was a highly, 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 highly requested video. Seriously, I do have to give it to you business majors. You guys are very persistent. So I'm finally delivering the goods, but only if you remember to smack the like button. And please keep in mind that I do spend a lot of time researching these videos to give you guys the best possible advice, but at the end of the day, it's just my opinion, so make sure that you do your own research as well. So as you all know, I'm a pretty big fan of business degrees, especially if you have the type of personality that is good for it. If you're really ambitious, for instance, if you wanna become an entrepreneur in the future, this can be a really good one to get into. And this video, which by the way, don't watch it because it's really poorly done. But anyways, in that video, I go over the degrees that end up creating the most millionaires. And as you can imagine, business degrees dominate the list. There's something about business degrees and how they lead to you being financially successful because so many of them seem to just have that X factor. It's all coming together. Now you could argue that people who get business degrees tend to be more ambitious and so they're more likely to be successful. And there is probably some truth to this argument. There's probably some bias there, but if you look at the numbers, business degrees are pretty solid all around. And I think the biggest strength of business degrees is how flexible they are. Think about it, you can work in pretty much any industry, you can work for any company, you're not really stuck in any career, you can easily just switch careers if you get bored of one. If you wanna go the corporate route, you can work your way all the way up to CEO or vice president, or you can work for a startup for a few years, learn the ins and outs of entrepreneurship, and then go out on your own and start your own business. Or you can get a completely unrelated degree and either double major or minor in a business degree, which will open up a ton of opportunities for you. At the very least, getting a business degree means you're more likely to be better at managing, investing, and basically just personal finance skills. But there are some business degrees that are a lot better than others, and that's what I'll be talking about in this video. And as always, keep in mind, this is just my opinion, and you should always do your own research before making a huge life decision like this. He's got a point. Number 10 on the list is going to be a general business degree. And this one might be a surprise to a lot of you because it ranks kind of low on the list, but let me explain. When it comes to business degrees, they're already extremely flexible, so you don't really have to worry that much about being too niche. So when it comes to business degrees, you want to specialize as much as you can. And just because you start as a specialist in business doesn't mean you can't move on to something else later on after you've proven yourself. But in researching this, I found that degrees that tend to specialize in something tend to have much better stats than the ones that don't. And a general business degree might be the least specialized business degree there is. Now the stats aren't terrible by any means, they're still pretty good and you'll see that with pretty much all of the business degrees. You start off at around $47,000 a year, which is pretty low, and then the mid-career pay is around $83,000. So overall, it's not too bad, but you might have some issues finding a job just because of the fact that it's so general. Number nine on the list is going to be marketing. And this is an example of a degree that, in my opinion, hasn't really caught up with the times. The advancements in marketing right now are moving so fast that college curriculums really aren't even able to keep up with it. One example of this would be Facebook ads, and it seems like they change the layout on the Facebook ads every few months, and then every single time you do it, it's like you have to learn the entire system again. And of course, this isn't something that colleges can keep up with, and that's just one example out of many. So you might spend a ton of time learning how to use Facebook ads, and then overnight something happens, and all of that time you spend is basically worthless. And I'm definitely not speaking from experience here. For this reason, many marketers are either self-taught or they got other degrees, and then they sort of just became an expert in whatever market they're in, and then horizontally moved into the marketing role. Now, marketing has a relatively low starting pay of 48,000 a year, and then the mid-career is still somewhere around 90,000. Overall, this isn't bad, and if you go into the right industry or situation, it could be really good. And I think marketing is one of the most valuable skills you can learn, so that's definitely a plus here. A marketing degree isn't useless by any means, but in my opinion, it's not one of the best. Number eight is very similar. It's sales and business marketing. And this one's very similar to marketing in that I think a lot of these skills are very industry specific. And the only way you can really learn how to get really good at sales or marketing is to just do it. Think about it. The way you sell a house to someone is completely different than the way you sell a car. Overall, the stats for this one are quite a bit better than just the marketing degree alone. The early pay is nearly 50,000 and the mid-career pay is almost 100,000 a year. Number seven on the list is going to be management and this is basically where they're training you to be a leader and that's something that companies love. The only problem with this one is it's another one that's a little bit too general and so it has a lot of the same problems that I talked about before. Now, the stats for this one aren't that amazing on its own. It's only 48,000 a year starting and 80,000 a year mid-career. However, if you 
combine this one with the right degree, it could be really good. It might be tough to find a job with just a management degree, but overall, this is still a pretty solid one. Number six on the list really surprised me, and it's international business. This one actually had pretty good stats. The starting pay is 50,000 a year, and the mid-career pay is around 97,000. On top of that, this is a very good one when it comes to either double majoring or minoring. Those who got an international business degree and a finance degree together seem to do very well. This one did seem to have a low meaning score though, and that's why it's not higher on the list. Number five on the list is going to be supply chain management, and this is another one that really surprised me. So it starts off around 58,000 in the early part of your career, and then it moves up to 94,000 after 10 years. And this one is extremely important in the modern world as efficiency and processes are more important than ever. In order to compete with companies like Amazon that offer one day shipping, you have to be extremely efficient. Next on the list is going to be economics. And yes, I realize this one is technically not a business degree, but most people bunch them together and a lot of the time you're gonna end up competing for the same job anyway, so I just decided to include it on the list. Now, economics does have pretty good stats. We're gonna start off at 56,000 a year and then after 10 years, 107,000. Economics is another one that pairs extremely well with other degrees, as you can see. Overall, economics is a very solid choice, but you might have to plan things out a little bit here. This is another one that's pretty general and you might have trouble finding a job if you don't plan things out. Number three on the list is going to be accounting. And this one is really good because when you get an accounting degree, it's very clear what kind of job you're gonna get. Accounting degrees become accountants. It's the problem with a lot of business degrees is that they're so general that it's not obvious what career paths that you should pursue. First of all, accounting graduates have really good stats. They start off around 51,000 a year and then 88,000 for mid-career pay. And according to BLS, there's 1.4 million accounting jobs available right now. On top of this, accountants can easily transition to other jobs such as financial analysts or personal financial advisor. This degree is just niche enough that you can basically get your foot in the door and get your career started but it's also general enough to where you can work in pretty much any industry or company and you can switch jobs if you want to. Number two on the list is going to be finance. And finance is kind of like accounting, but in my opinion, it's a little bit better. So you start off at around 55,000 a year and then after 10 years, your mid-career pay, you're gonna be making 98,000 on average. And there are many jobs out there that you can do, such as financial analyst, financial advisor, or financial manager. It's also not too niche, so you can easily change industries or your career trajectory if you want to. Number one on the list is going to be management information system. And in my opinion, this is the best and most versatile degree that you can get in business. First of all, you make 60,000 a year starting off, which is really good, and then after 10 years, it goes up to 105,000 a year. And this degree basically combines business with technology, and being able to be a middleman between those two things is something that companies really love. This is also another one where there's tons of different degrees that go really well with it. This is also an extremely flexible degree, probably more flexible than any of the other ones where you can easily switch careers or industries or companies. It's also a great one if you wanna go off and become an entrepreneur in the future whenever you feel like you're ready. Overall, this is a great option and it ranks really high on my list. Make sure to watch my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Thank you so much and bye for now.